this is catch and sketch of the day this is my baby boy anderson and he's 18 months old i'm a stay-at-home mom and i produce bus, motherhood bus, videos bus. yes do you want some bus? Bus? i am not a professional hairdresser however i grew up with my mom cutting my hair my sister my brother and my dad so why not do the same with my own child not to mention i do my husband's hair too Can shaving your baby's hair make it grow back thicker and healthier? A lot of people believe that shaving a kid's hair will make it grow back thicker and more luscious. Hence, it is not uncommon to witness a baby's head being shaved in a religious ceremony across cultures. In fact, in a lot of Asian cultures, including Philippines, it is mandatory to shave the head of the baby after a particular age in order to promote hair growth, mostly within the few years of birth. Will my baby's hair change after shaving? The answer is no. Your baby's hair will not necessarily become thicker or healthier from shaving. Our genetics and the actual hair follicles play a large role in determining our hair type. Could shaving be harmful? Before your baby is even born, you might learn or already know about their soft spots. The soft spots on a baby's head are what allow the head to easily descend into the pelvis and through the birth canal during labor. The fontanelle, as it's officially named, also helps make room for your baby's brain to grow and develop outside the womb. It has been suggested that shaving over these spots could damage your baby's head, but that's not true, so don't worry. You should always be careful around the soft spots anyway, and this is no different. One thing that could potentially harm your child is the tool you're using. Some people, more for cultural reasons, choose to use razors. However, babies have a tendency to move suddenly and the blades can easily cut your baby's super soft skin. How to safely shave your baby's hair? Deciding to shave your baby's hair is a big decision, but with the right tools and precautions, there should be no cause for concern. The bottom line, ultimately, it's obviously your decision whether you want to shave your kid's hair off or keep it as it is. And that's the end of our video. Thank you all for watching. Please do not forget to hit like and subscribe. See you in the next video.